It's really Tennessee Homestead. I like our day. Doing real good. Got your coffee? Not just something to get you. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, it's getting warm down here now. It really is. What I want to talk to you today about is some of this, uh, some of this craziness we're seeing in the markets, man. Did a little more checking on that. The futures are uh, just straight across the board shot up like crazy here uh, a few days back. It is starting to settle down a little bit, but right now everything's selling high still on the futures market. And I've been pouring through some of the U.S. does stuff and uh, haven't really seen a good reason. So, <laughs> we'll kind of have to see what's going on. Uh, for some reason, the Commodities Exchange started saying that there was something in the air that was making them nervous and, and they were uh, paying up, buying up uh, futures at, at pretty high price. Like I said, you know, so far the only thing I can say is it looks like it was typical Chicago's commodity market going a little silly. But... Uh, it's, it's looking like it's, it's, it's kind of flattened out now, and which is usually a sign that it's going to go back down again. So I was out looking at, uh, at some land today and uh, going to pull some samples because it was row crop land, uh, which makes me nervous. And it was still pretty clean, and it hadn't been farmed in a couple of years. So I'm afraid it's probably got you know, extremely heavy uh, herbicide contamination on it. When you folks are out uh, looking at land, you know, if you, if it's if it's a hustling deal, you might wanna you might wanna put in your contingency offer of yeah, I'll buy it, but that's gonna be dependent upon um, you know, a soil analysis. If there's heavy herbicide uh, contamination of the soil, you know, all bets are off. Okay. Main reason for that. While you can turn heavily contaminated soil around, it's going to mean more dollars out of your pocket before you can put that into production. Okay, uh, a lot of compost, compost teas, manures. You're going to have to really get in there and work that soil up to get yourself enough of a bed to be able to plant and grow a crop or plant in a, uh, a pasture. So you know. Don't make an offer on land to find out you're going to have to turn around and spend thousands more to get the land to where you can utilize it. Uh, with this fellow, I had told him, I said, well, you know, because he was in a, he's trying to get out of Dodge. He's got some family, from what I understand, in Texas that he's wanting to move down there and give them a hand with the new uh, ranch that they had bought. His daughter and his son-in-law bought a ranch and... Uh, Neither one of them know squat about growing food or raising animals or anything else. So he's retired, and uh, at least he was honest. I got to give him that much. When I told him, I said, "We're off of clean fields for not being used for the last couple of years." He said, "Yeah." He said, "He said it was." Uh, he said the last time that they had hit the stuff, he said it was with dioxin. Oh, uh, not dioxin. Excuse me, uh, dicamba. <laughs> which could have been dioxin, depending on how long it sat in the sun. Yeah, so at least he was straight up with what he was using out there. And he said before 2015, he was using Roundup, but Roundup wasn't working anymore. He was having to put it on real heavy. So he was he was straight up. I said, well, let me get pull a few soil samples, and let's take a look at how bad it is, and then I can figure out what it's going to cost me to get this land back up in production. Told him what I was wanting to do with it and was willing to put cattle on it. I said, but uh, I need to, you know, put in a, a good mixed pasture to do that. And how much that's going to cost me, I said, is going to be calculated at the price, you know. So so he was good with it and he understood. And uh, unless somebody runs along and says, hey, I want to build houses on it and outdoes me. Looks like I may have found some. Be careful. Uh, it... It looks like his family is one of these refugees out of the cities, uh, the violence and stuff in there. And it's, it's really sad. I mean, you know, when you think about it, for their part, it's a good thing because they're you know, a young couple and getting out and starting their own place is probably the best thing that could happen to them and their family. But they're, you know, that's what he said. He said they got to get it up in production pretty quick. 
because you know jobs are in the immediate area, so they're kind of looking to make a living off their land. It can be done. As a matter of fact, I told them about, uh, that I was, you know, I said, are they doing anything on social media, anything like that? And he said, no. I said, they might want to do that just right from the get-go. You know, here's what we bought. Here's what we're doing. Here's this and that and the other. And I said, get it out there. Kind of point them in the right direction. I said, I'm getting ready on my YouTube channel to start putting out information of, uh, of how to create the channel, uh, get the views, you know, get the uh, rankings up. One thing I have learned uh, about YouTube especially, uh, you, if you step on their toes a couple of times, they step back. They really do. As I've watched on, uh, since I've put out a few videos, and, I, and I've even taken things down now after they've uh, initially the, you know, been up long enough for the subscribers to all get a chance to look at them, uh, I finally pulled them off because uh, I'm not going to provide free content to YouTube. If they're not willing to pay for the ads on it, forget it. So I have put that policy that I've talked about doing into effect. Okay, So you'll see even if you look through the list of videos, a lot of them are gone. Um, not a lot. Probably I think I took down like six of them. Because only now and again I'd bump, bump into YouTube uh, before, but the more I've dealt with this controversial nonsense, uh, the more I've ran into having problems with YouTube. And if they don't deem it controversial, I get a lot higher ratings on uh, traffic-wise for particular ones. Now, a lot of the barn chats and stuff of that nature, honestly, barn chats are, are really geared for and focused to subscribers. So I don't do a lot of SEO work on them. I'm not overly concerned with their search engine traffic on them. Um, I'm not, you know, so I don't waste the time doing that. Other videos I do. With SEO work and things of this nature, and the channel is growing, which is a good thing, and uh, I'm going to try to help them out getting started. I, and there's truckloads of information out there on this. Some of it good, some of it a little nuts. Okay? I can tell you one thing, and I and you know, you hear a lot of people say no, all right? But uh, I got to tell you something. If if you got a cute wife, put her face on there a lot. I have been amazed at that, uh, of the traffic generated by that. Just that, you know, that she's a, if, if they're young and attractive, you'll move your channel faster. Yeah. Uh, same thing for the guys. If you're a young, strapping, good-looking guy, it builds traffic. Uh, silly, but it's one of the little secrets out there that, you know, they, they try to tell you, oh, no, uh, uh Yeah, it does have an effect. I've went and looked. And a lot of times you've seen where these channels have went from zero to, you know, 100,000 uh, people overnight. Well, not overnight, within about a year. Just because of the personality. And the person, okay. Uh, one one lady, she puts out good information, okay. So this is not her fault, okay. She puts out good, solid information, but man, you read her comments, and because she gets a lot of comments, that moves them up in the searches too with uh, with YouTube, because she gets so many comments, uh, and half of them are, you know, are you single or you know. God, you're cute, and you gotta do. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is not a dating site. She's trying to give you some information. Entertaining, and you know, the more entertaining you can make it, the better. Uh, most of my subscribers is uh, they they just like to hear a little old time horse sense, yeah. Which is this day and age getting pretty rare. But yeah, so I offered to give them some pointers on. The SEO work and things of this nature. Certain things on SEO work, you want to draw in search engine uh, things and so forth, it, it, it takes a little extra effort. Uh, but if you're willing to do that, you can draw a lot of traffic in from like Google and DuckDuckGo and other search engines, uh, you know, fairly easy. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, so I was, I was talking to him about that. And 
as for you folks uh, that are wanting to start homesteads, this is one th thing you, you want to consider. Uh, I've even seen a few that have been very successful with starting their channels out prior to having a place. They are actually start building their channel and, and building their subscriber base from just looking for property, okay, and how they're going about their search and things of this nature. Ah. So yeah, you can you can start building some income uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's not going to be much because starting out it usually, uh, like, like I said, unless you are one of the lucky few that you know go from you know zero to hundred thousand subscribers in in uh, a year or two. Uh, probably not going to make a lot of money at first, but you're building a base. And people like to follow that. They like to see you join. So, it's up to think about. Anyway, uh, so I'm working with them. I've found a little piece of land. Hopefully, something comes of it. Uh, I'm going to go out uh, probably tomorrow, and we're going to pull some samples and uh, get those off to the lab and see what, see what the heck we got there. Anyway, don't want this to run long. I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter. One, it takes so long to load these things anymore on YouTube. It's getting to be a little nuts. Uh, and two, I, I'm going to try to increase the amount of them that come out so you're going to gonna have uh, more that are just little short ones that, uh, you know, go quick. Today, it's like just trying to get my head around some of the things that are going on out there. I'm trying to back away a little bit from the uh, more news stuff. If I don't back away from it, I'm going to have to switch over. Uh, I've switched over to where I can put up the videos. Uh, I know they got that OBS out there and things of that nature, but right now it's like, do I really want to get into figuring out another software? But uh, uh, I would like to, and this is a future plan, I would like to get into. Uh, having at least maybe once a month or something like that a live stream so that folks can ask questions and things of that nature i think that would be helpful to probably to the channel but it'd also be helpful and uh so let's take it from there see what happens anyway this is rich jesse homestead i uh, love you guys and i appreciate you if i sound like i'm dragging this because i've been out running around in the heat all day and i am just whew, you know <laughs> yeah i Go get some sweet tea and cool off, man. Uh, so, anyway, love you guys and I appreciate you. Y'all take care. You have yourself a wonderful day. And I hope you're having a great week.